Yes, what's good everybody? So, another quick ship vid. Got quite a bit to get through. Uh, start with Mum for Death, which everybody knows about. So obviously we've got Sheffield on Saturday, then it's Man City, then straight into Liverpool, then Scum, which is madness really. Um, what you're saying on a points tally for that, obviously we should beat Sheffield on Saturday, that is a must. It feels like Sting gets taken out of the game a bit because of Wilder, because Wilder is just a moaning idiot, just thought he was a clown. But I don't actually really care about Sheffield. I've never really seen him as like a rival. I know the Yorkshire Derby and what have you, but it's never really entered my head. Probably because I've always thought Leeds are much bigger than Sheffield will ever be. But ever since Wilder were about, he used to do my head in and it actually vamped up the rivalry a bit for me. <clears throat> but yeah, what, what do you reckon? Obviously three points off them. If we could get six points out of that, six points out of 12, that'd be amazing really. Seven would be like on another level, wouldn't it? As much as I'd like to beat Man City and Liverpool, if I had to pick two wins out of that, I'd go Sheffield and Man U. I just don't want to lose Sheffield and I'd love to beat Scum. So obviously, but obviously 12 points is what we're aiming for. Um, but yeah, Phillips played 90 minutes yesterday for, for England. Another boring game. It wasn't too bad the game to be fair, Paul and put up a bit of a fight up, but again, not here to talk about that. He looked, he, he played well, did Phillips. I got some stats on him and stuff, and he were like, most completed passes and stuff are all, you know, played really well. Uh, to be fair, he's played in every England game, hasn't he, in that qualifier, and he's got most amount of minutes out of any player on pitch, so he might be in his plans, who knows. A um, little bit of transfer talk. So, DePaul is circulating again now. So I don't know whether sometimes they're just running out of ideas, but and I know a lot of people are saying that they want DePaul to come, and I do, but I, I don't really know a great deal about him. So it's it's hard to say really sometimes, and you're just guessing unless you are like a world astute footballing watcher, you know, like some sort of nutcase like BL, so that just watches every single game in the world. Um, but apparently Atalanta are in race for him now, which they're not a big side, but obviously they they play. Champions League football and stuff, so yeah. But you, Denise, apparently, but they said this last year that they are open to selling him, so we'll see what comes of that. And um, just a quick one on um, like the Bielsa burnout thing I saw yesterday that um, we've only used 22 players the whole season, and I know like we, you know, Click's probably a little bit burnt out, but that's the only player really that comes to mind that's tired. Um, and that's due to years and years of playing every single game, every single day. Uh, but we've only used 22 players, which is the second lowest in Premiership. So there's only Aston Villa that have used 21. Um, so the burnout thing is just... I said I did a video on burnout the other month and just said how oh, it's bullshit. And, you know, and when Klopp's team absolutely bottled it and buckled and everybody were getting injured and they were just shit, nobody would run about them burning out. And they play not a similar type of football, but high-energy football. Or high octane, what they always say for some reason. Um, and yeah, this is this is good news. So Rodrigo has come out and um, he's put on his Instagram about because obviously people saying he's unhappy at the club and stuff. Which is this? I'm buzzing about this. So he's put, I'm not a person to comment on nonsense nonsense stories. However, in this case, I want to make it clear that stories about me wanting to leave Leeds and a bad relationship with Marcelo are false. I am very sorry that some people try to misinform our fans. My feelings are the opposite. I am happy, focused and working hard to help my, with my teammates to end this great season in a possible way. I love being at Leeds United. I respect my coach and I identify with this club. Come on, Leeds, marching on together. Saying all the right things to keep me juiced there, Rodrigo. So, yeah, I'm all on board with that, what you're saying. It's absolutely wicked. Um, another bit of shit talk. Well, this might not be shit talk, to be fair. Meslier is in line for another contract, so obviously he's, his future's been a bit like Nino, Nino. So, or impress anyway. He's, he's, his contract expires in two years. It's speculated that he's on like between 16,500 and 21,500. But obviously if he goes to PSG type of style, if they come in, he's going to get an absolute wedge for that, isn't he? So it'll be a big contract for him, but like hopefully tie him down for quite a while, which is good. A uh, bit more shit talk about Janssen or Jensen, Janssen. 
Uh, he would he said in the interview that he'd, he did have a few disputes with Bielsa and stuff, so they've obviously had a few rows, but he said nothing were really too bad. But he said that with the Villa one, um, he said that Bielsa actually understood why he did that, which is pretty cool. Because you you know, like I said, I I'd probably have a I'd probably have a chip on my shoulder and want to do that. I wouldn't want to give the goal away. But yeah, I can't see him coming back. But I just thought I'd mention that he's, he did say he'd had a few disputes with him because he's a fiery character in him, so is Bielsa. So. And then just something to end on, which I thought was pretty funny, that my brother sent me the other day. Stan Collymore put on his Twitter, Double pivot, expected goals, generational talent, low block, transition, beat the press, recycle the ball and turnover. Get this lot in the bin and you have my sincerest apologies for definitely using turnover. Well, we know he uses all them phrases, don't we, boys and girls? <laughs> but yeah, I don't mind transition. Low block sort of makes sense. Uh, and turnover. But uh, recycle the ball's not too bad. Beat the press is a bit annoying. Generational talent is ridiculous. Expected goals is awful. And double pivot is... Where well, my guy... <sighs> bad. But yeah... I'll drop in tomorrow, give a little Sheffield breakdown. I can't fucking wait to get back. Not that I'm playing, but can't wait to get back stuck in watching Leeds on a Saturday at three. Amazon. Bush. Nice one. Take it easy. See you all in a bit. Surprises why I